All right, I've had some questions about my uh, automation that I've made for my wood stove. I heat my house with wood only, and I created a control system to control the damper on the stove, as well as uh, an added bonus. I have this whole house fan underneath that grill that I installed, and it has a set of automatic doors that open and close. So I disconnected the fan, and I've tied that thermostat as a switch to control when the damper door is now open and closed. So when it gets too hot, then it opens those insulated doors and they're open now and it allows some heat to escape up through the attic. And that's been helping me maintain, as you can see here, a room temperature of 72. And it's been really easy to maintain that. So let's go over some of the things I have here to answer some of your questions. Uh, first of all, that is a six volt motor. 6 volt lead screw assembly. It has a magnet mounted on the top and two magnets for full closed and full open sensing. I tied everything to a terminal block and all this will get covered with a box um, after I'm sure that everything's working fine. And I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm there. Um, the magnetic limits and the temperature sensor were purchased at allelectronics.com. The temperature sensor is hard to see, but it's right there on the end of that CAT5. You just have to program your analog inputs on your PLC to react to those voltages representing temperatures. Uh, I have an SG220CRD inside of this control box. And the 115 light just turned off as I was talking, which says, hey, I'm lower than... 115 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. I hooked up a voltmeter to tell me the temperature that is 113.1 degrees is what that translates to. Now the temperature next to the stove, and we're kind of close to the stove, is 77 degrees. And that's only because we're pretty close to the stove. Uh, <clears throat> I have my main power indicator of course, main power control, Two indicator lights that tell me uh, if I'm greater than 95 degrees or 115. I have a fan button that allows me to cycle the fan on and off if I want. And I have a green indicator light to say, hey, I want heat from this thermometer. So if it's set to demand heat, uh, the green light comes on. Then I have an on-off control for the alarm. The alarm is mounted at the bottom of the box. Uh, that's If I don't want to hear the alarm at night for some reason, the place is warm enough, I can easily just turn off that alarm. Okay, I just threw some uh, small wood in there. fire's been out for quite a while. And there was just a little bit of hot coals in there. So I put in uh, a little bit of kindling and uh, some bigger pieces of soft wood. And then I hit my fan and uh, you can see those coals are starting to glow, glow red. And I don't think it's going to be long that that fire should take. So that, that fan is feeding that, feeding that oxygen in there really well. There it goes. So now the fan's going to finish running. And uh, the temperature should kick up. And when the temperature reaches uh, the right temp, then the damper should close. Okay, we just reached our set point and the damper full closed. Okay, uh, let's say that I just had the fire going for a while and it's full open and I haven't reached the set point to close the damper yet but the room temperature feels fine to me. Well, I have this option to adjust this thermostat and I adjust it down to uh, 67 and or 65 so it's lower than the set point so it's not calling for heat and I'm going to press the manual button. So what that did was it closed the damper. Now it's going to keep the damper closed until the temperature this thermometer says, hey, I need heat. 
So now I've changed the set point to 68 degrees. I actually go 69 degrees. And now when the green light comes on, it's calling for heat. And the damper reopened. So it's an option to bypass the thermometer or temperature sensor that's next to the stove. It allows me to adjust a desired temperature in the room. Another really nice feature is if either one of those indicator lights are on for uh, greater than 115 or greater than 95, that means that my hot water on the stove here is perfect for a cup of tea.